Hello, I'm Helen from Journal With Purpose and welcome to my latest YouTube video. Today I'm going to be doing some journaling in my traveller's notebook and I'm also going to be adding some watercolour splotches and adding some hopefully really relaxing doodles on top. It feels that time of year where I want to be able to just kind of retreat into comfort and coziness and doing things which are really relaxing and easy to do. So I really hope you're going to enjoy seeing how I add these little patterns and doodles and that you'll perhaps join in and have a go too. I've recently received my latest subscription box from Sketch and Story, so it's the perfect time because there's some gorgeous looking paints in there. So I'm going to be using those, but any kind of paints will be absolutely fine for this. Well, I really hope you enjoy the video. I'm going to be using my plain traveller's notebook insert, which I keep inside this vintage light cover from Start Bay Notebooks. This insert is Good Impressions brand and whilst it's not watercolour paper, it certainly holds up to it really well. Well, actually while I'm here, you might remember I shared a tutorial for creating this gratitude page. So I've finished adding now all of my different entries to that. So I'm going to start off by having a look inside this box from Sketch and Story. I'll of course leave details for this and a discount code down below. As I've mentioned before, I absolutely love these because it always comes with a story and it always tells you something about the artist who made the paints as well and I absolutely love that. So these paints are made by Emily Grace and I'm really already liking the look of the colours in here. And the art challenge which has been set with this is back to boho, so doing kind of shabby chic, those sorts of things. So I've got the paints that I'll be using and I'll do some swatching with those. There's also two pens, so I've got a white acrylic marker and also a copper metallic pen, so I think they'll be really fun for adding the doodles on top. There's some little bits of scrapbooking paper in here as well, which I haven't decided if I'm going to use yet, but I'm definitely going to bear them in mind. There's a lovely postcard in here, which I'll probably add to my junk journal with some washi tape and use that for writing on the back. And then we've got these uh, little coloured pens. I'd not seen these before. You can actually clip them together and I was obviously not with it because I had to look up how to do it. But they've got little arrows on the end and I just kept thinking, well, they won't go together, but those bits actually press in and then you can snap the pens together so you've then got double-ended pens. I really like that, I love finding different little things which I perhaps wouldn't have seen otherwise before. So, all right, we'll get on and start adding some paint. So I always like to do some swatching of the new paints that I receive and I've got, I bought some little metal tins, some empty ones to put the different paints in that I've been sent by Natalie at Sketch and Story. And it's just a nice little reminder for me of the different colors that I've got. So I'm gonna start off, as I said, by just quickly swatching these so I've got a good feel for what those colors are gonna look like on my journal page. I absolutely love those colours, they're so earthy. I don't know if you can see the sparkly one where that's picking up on camera. I added a little here, but I also added a little bit into the pink and it's picking up the most beautiful shimmer. 
to say, I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera. But so I'm gonna use these three main colors. I don't think I'm gonna add the shimmer because I know I'm gonna be using a metallic marker on top but I love these. I think these might be one of my favorite sets that I've been sent so far by Natalie. So I'm gonna do something really simple. I'm going to be adding three rows of three kind of oval shapes on my page. And I'm just going to alternate the colors a little bit as I move down the page so that they're not, I haven't got all the pink ones in a row. And I'm gonna use these straight from the palette rather than mixing them with lots of water. But so I'm gonna use that right around the outside and then just add water to wash that inwards. So on the second row, I would add this color in the middle here. And these don't have to be perfect, by the way. I can already see these will be a slightly different size, but that's fine. And then I'll finish off by adding this one on my third row here. Okay, I'm now going to do the same thing with the other two colours. I'm really loving the look of those colors. There's just something so comforting, I think, about those earth colors. Now, once they're dry, we're gonna start adding some doodles to these ovals. Now, if you've got my first book, you'll be able to find a pattern section towards the end of the book, pages 108 to 111. I've also thought that I might possibly add, where are these, some little nature doodles, leafy drawings, something like that on there, and really just have fun in those tiny little ovals. So I've got the white and gold pen that came in the box, and I've also bought a black pen over as well. So I'm going to start off with this black pen, which is a Staedtler pigment liner. And I'm going to add some wavy lines. Adding little doodles is just one of my favorite ways of unwinding. It's often something I'll do in the evening if the television's on. And if you've got little watercolor swatches, it's wonderful. And now in between every other line, I'm going to add some little circles. And then in the spaces that are left, it's gonna add some curved lines. For this grey oval, I'm going to use the gold metallic pen. And for this one, I think I'm just gonna add lots of little circles and do that all over. And on this brown one, I'm going to add, I think, a little leafy branch. And 
and I'm going to use the same coloured pens with the same coloured paint behind because then I know that also the colours of the ink that I'm using will not be one under the other as well if you know what I mean so that I don't end up with a column of white and for this one I'm just going to add some nice wavy lines like little scallop shapes For this middle pink one, I think I'm going to do like a spiral shape and just keep bringing this in until I reach the center. And for the grey, perhaps some wavy lines going in this direction. And then add some little coloured stripes. And for here, I think I might do one of my kind of reeds. So they start off just with scribbly lines. Could also be a tree, but I'm going to do a wavy stem and then a little leaf coming off the side. And for this, I think I'm going to do a kind of loop the loop. And then for this final one, I think I'm going to have some straight lines running across it. And then add some little wavy lines all along those. Okay, so they're all done, nice and simple. The only thing I've decided I might do is add some little white flecks in these circles. But yeah, this is one of my favorite types of activities, just doing lots of little patterns. And when you've got some watercolor shapes down, I think it breaks up that blank page perfectly. You've just got lots of tiny little spaces to be able to create within and even if you've then only got five or ten minutes it's really easy to just be able to do a little bit on those and now I've seen how perfectly these papers are going to tie in with the paints I definitely think I want to use some of these so I think I might use them um, a little bit like I would with washi tape. So I'm going to tear along this one. And then glue that to the top of my page. I love creating with different supplies. It always just encourages me to think a little bit differently. I think we get really comfortable with the supplies that we have and use a lot. So I really enjoy just getting these 
different little boxes in the post and then working out how I want to use them on my journal pages. In fact, I think I might use the bottom half of this one down here. And then I'm going to add the date to this one. You might notice that probably by the time you're watching this, it's a while since I filmed it. I'm away for a little bit in October, so I'm trying to get nicely ahead with my filming at the moment. I also just added a little message to myself down there. For some extra decoration, I've recently received some of the new release washi tapes from London Gifties. And this one called Dreamy Cottagecore Girls. I just spotted her and I thought those neutral colors would go in really nicely with this. So I'm gonna just cut that image out. I'm loving using those new tapes at the moment. I've already used quite a few of them. Just so good that you can cut out the images and use them as stickers in your journals. And I thought I'd also use one of the quote printables from my Patreon. I'm just going to glue that down. Again, the glue stick that I'm using is Pritt Stick. I'm really pleased with how this is looking. I had so much fun creating it. So I'm now going to add my journal writing. And for this, I'm using my fountain pen from Stanford Pen Studio. Okay, that is my journal pages now all complete. I spent a bit of time writing about things that have been going on, things that have been worrying me and just getting them out of my head and onto paper. And one final thing before I go, I was asked a question about travelers notebooks and how they work. So I just wanted to cover that really quickly. So in, the, in this particular cover, and they do vary slightly, there's four different elasticated cords. And it is as simple as that your books just slide inside them, so you can easily take them in and out. And in mine, I have this craft wallet at the front for storing bits of paper and ephemera, my daily journal, my craft insert and then this plain insert too. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope perhaps it's given you some ideas for your own journals. If you do decide to have a go at creating these little painty ovals and doodles, then please do tag me in on Instagram. And if you're interested in these beautiful paints from Sketch and Story in her subscription box, I'll leave the details for that and the discount code down below. 
as always, I want to say a massive thank you to everybody who's joined me over on Patreon. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you're doing really well. I look forward to speaking with you really soon in my next video.